in New Haven. Crews tearing down a piece of Elm City history. The city issued an emergency demolition order for the gatehouse of the old Yale and Quinnipiac breweries. News 8's Ken Pierce is live with why the building is coming down. Kent. And Brian, safety is the reason that was given by the city of New Haven, and that's why those crews back there starting the process of tearing down this gatehouse. Now, the roof of the building collapsed years ago. Now, the concern is the walls could collapse. But people who like to see historic buildings restored in the Elm City, well, they say the owner should have taken better care of this building. Tony Grigo was up before the sun for one last chance to photograph the Brewery Square gatehouse. I've been taking pictures for almost 50 years. Of buildings that I thought were going to be destroyed in New Haven. In the 1880s, the complex was built as a brewery. In the 1980s, most of it was transformed into the Brewery Square apartments, but the gatehouse was left empty. And then. The roof collapsed due to snow a few years ago, um, which, of course, that could have been prevented by shoveling the snow off of the roof. Um, and it has sat ever since. The New Haven Preservation Trust got 1,500 people to sign an online survey to try to save the gatehouse because it is designated historic and it is in an historic district, but the Massachusetts-based company that owns it has other ideas. The owner went to the Historic District Commission back in August for a certificate of appropriateness to demolish the building. They were denied. Here's the thing, no matter how historic the building is, it is still private property. A spokesman for the city of New Haven says the city can urge and encourage private property owners to do certain things, but cannot force a private property owner to restore an historic building. The spokesman says what finally prevailed was the city's responsibility to ensure public safety and the growing concern that the deteriorating condition of the building was posing a public safety risk. So the city issued an emergency demolition order, and brick by brick, the gatehouse is coming down. Preservationists call it demolition by neglect. Developers and uh, people that own buildings let the buildings decay. That decay uh, gets the building inspector and the fire chief in there and says you have to tear the building down. Collector Robert Greenberg still has one of the bottles from the brewery and this iconic photo of two of the workers. Back then, Yale Brewing was a very famous, uh, famous company here in New Haven for uh, beer. Now he hopes part of the brewery will become famous as an example of how not to preserve New Haven's history. It's a shame what we've lost here in New Haven, and it's. Uh, I know the Preservation Trust does the best they can, but it's people call it progress. It doesn't look like progress to you. No, it doesn't. Well, the demolition has to be done carefully because it's only one part of the Brewery Square complex that they are actually tearing down. Now, the Brewery Square management has not returned our calls, so we're not sure what they're going to do with the space once that building is removed. It's next to an enclosed parking area. Could just be more parking spots. Live in New Haven, I'm Kent Pierce.